I can't even talk. I'm so late for church. I need to go and serve. So yeah, I'm driving right now. It's nine. I'm late. Ah! <sighs> so we just finished um, teaching the kids and they had worship and now they're gone with their parents. I love them, but like, that was crazy. Like usually we have like maybe, like we used to have like 10 kids most and then it went to like 15 and today we had 19 kids, which is a lot of kids. Um, but it was really fun teaching them about Jehoshaphat, getting them to say that name. And now they know him as Mr. Fat, which is so funny. So now on to service, yay. This great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. And the dragon was angry with the woman and declared war against the rest of her children, all who keep God's commandments and maintain their testimony for Jesus. You don't hear that in the Advent reading in light too much to you. <laughs> the declaration of war between the seed of the serpent. Hi! Hi! <laughs> now we finished. At church, we had the service, we finished the general annual meeting, and then we're going to uh, First Market Place um, for lunch. I looked better today. You should have. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you might recognize it from yesterday's vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What, okay, what is one thing from the sermon that you I, got from I it? I didn't go to the sermon. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> so, dress of the day. I'm wearing this navy. I don't even know how to describe it. A line, and it goes out. Um, I got this from Malaysia, and then I have this thing from Jacob as well. It's just a turtleneck and some little uh, polka dot tights, and that's the dress of day two. Yes, yeah, living, thriving. It's been not that bad, but it's not that cold. So excited to see what else. I get to wear in dress and mirror. Follow along. It's so nice. 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 It's so Jen's out for the day. No! 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 I'm fitting societal norms. I'm talking about What are you doing? I'm vlogging every oh. day, so. You vlog? Now I do. I don't know if you hear that, but that is straight up rain. So this is going to be fun to walk. Oh my gosh, it was lightning. I'm home from driving in the rain for like 20 or 30 minutes. Not fun. I do not I like driving my sister's car. She's gonna be watching this and be like, good, then don't drive it. But like, honestly, like, compared to my dad's Toyota Corolla, like, her Kia is like, like, the engine is so weak and like, it takes a lot to get it started and like, get it going and like, it's just really, it's just really annoying. It's not smooth. I just don't like it. Anyway, I'm home and my mom has cooked some stuff for dinner, so I'll show you what I get to eat. Just fried a lot of noodle, as you can see. Um, so I'll be eating a lot of that. And then I've got bok choy, Asian staple. So I think it's time that we address, number one, what is dress number? And number two, why am I doing it? So number one, so Dress Ember is basically this organization that um, is trying to stop human trafficking, which they consider like modern day slavery. Because according to Google, human trafficking is essentially um, the act of forcing um, a person, people to relocate from one area to another area or one country to another country for the purpose of, for the purpose of forced labor or commercial sexual exploitation. But the point is also that it happens right here in Canada, in fact, in the GTA. Did you know that, um, this was a statistic from Statistics Canada, that in Canada, um, of all the stats of reported human trafficking incidents, 60% of those reports occur in the GTA. That's insane. And like, I can't even just imagine like all the broken people out there who need help, um, who are just, doing this to survive and they need a way out and they don't know where to turn for help. So, Dress Ember 
this organization partners with a bunch of organizations to help free these people from this modern day slavery. So they put money towards rescue missions, they put money towards also resources for rehabilitation. So, um, you know, people recovering from that and victims of that, survivors of human trafficking, um, often come out with a lot of, you know, emotional scars, maybe physical scars, and um, the money that you donate would go towards perhaps um, uh, mental health services, for example, um, other hospital services. Um, it would also go towards um, funds towards giving these people a, a new life, a chance to get a proper job, a chance to get housing, a chance to have their needs met, which can be very hard day to day um, coming from um, human trafficking. So that all being said, I was really, I stumbled upon this by listening to Jordan Lee Dooley's podcast called She love it number one and she was interviewing the um, founder of dress ember and it started out with just being um a little experiment just wearing a dress every single day in december seeing how she liked it just for fashion and then it turned into a way to bring awareness to a cause human trafficking that she felt really passionate about and now it's grown immensely they've raised millions and millions of dollars so right now i believe their goal is three million and you know we're racing towards that goal very slowly but surely um, and so how can you help? So I, this was on my heart just cause I heard that story about Dress Ember and I don't know, the Holy Spirit just struck me and I was like, whoa, like this is a cause that I really believe in because you know, girls supporting girls, number one. And also like, I just don't, I just hate that Jesus has given these people, you know, the chance at life, beautiful lives and someone else evil has taken that away from them by, um, exploiting them and putting them under modern day slavery and making them work in, um, like forced labor or in sex work and it's just so unfair and so unjust and I know that this is something that God wants me to do so I'm wearing a dress every single day in December in frigid cold Canada and yeah so that's fun so far um, but yeah so wearing a dress every single day trying to wait, raise awareness my donation link is actually in the bio so click the link please if you'd like to donate um, my goal is now $500 at first I was like Hmm, that seems like a lot. I wanted to make it around like two, 250, maybe 300, but then I thought, you know what? God is a generous God and God always provides more than we ever ask for and he wants to give. He is an abundant loving God, you know? That's just the kind of God we serve. So that's the goal. Please give whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to, even more if that's in your heart to do so. Let's make a difference today. You know, we always talk about, we wanna make change and like, Oh, like this earth is dying and we need to help each other. We need to love our fellow brothers and sisters. This is how you can help your fellow brother and sister right here, right now, today. Donate in that link in the bio. And if you want to join me by wearing a dress every single day in December or a tie if you're men, you can wear a tie every single day in December as well. Um, so search up dressember.org, I believe, or .com and you'll find links all about it. But yeah, that's basically what happens. I'm wearing my coziest sweats right now because also added rules. You are supposed to wear a dress when you get to choose what you get to wear and like when you go out so that's why i've been wearing a dress when i've been going out but now that i'm at home also about to sleep i'm gonna wear my sweats very happily okay so i hope you guys have a great rest of your night love you guys and let's make a change together Woo! stay tuned for day three coming up of vlogmas day two down bye